Hey there, in today's Create With tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to create a Cloudflare worker without any code that can use AI to extract uh, structured data uh, and return it to Bubble. So this is a really, really useful way of uh, extracting data from big complex documents and putting it into a nice structured format that then you can use inside your other no-code tools. Uh, in today's example, we're gonna be looking at Bubble. But uh, this is a lot easier to set up than you think. Uh, you don't need to write any code at all. Uh, I'm gonna show you the exact uh, prompt that we use with uh, Anthropics Claude. So we're gonna use that to actually generate the code for our worker. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you in Cloudflare uh, how we set it up and how we test it, and then eventually how we run it. So uh, what the worker's gonna do uh, is it's gonna accept a big, uh, big block of text, which is uh, a resume or a CV. And what the worker's then gonna do is extract all the key data uh, out of that resume. So it's gonna get the name, their employment history, all that kind of stuff, and put it into a nice structured object that we can then use uh, in Bubble. Uh, it will work really great with uh, the Bubble uh, API connector. So it's gonna pick up all the data in a nice structured format. Uh, and again, uh, Cloudflare workers are insanely uh, cheap to run, uh, or even free. Uh, we're going to cover that as well. So um, yeah, let's dive in. But uh, super, super easy, and it's not as intimidating as it sounds. So uh, let's take a look at how to get started. So uh, let's dive into it. I've put together just a couple of simple slides just to introduce Cloudflare workers and kind of explain a little bit more what they actually are. So um, at the most simple level, what they are is it's a, a small program that runs on Cloudflare's network. Uh, so it's effectively uh, a bit of JavaScript, uh, in, in our example anyway, that's going to run uh, in the cloud. Uh, they run extremely fast. Uh, and when you so you can access it by kind of get request or post request. Uh, and then it the, itself, it has access to to do network requests itself. So you can kind of think of it a bit like a workflow in Bubble uh, on the public internet. So it can do pretty much anything uh, a workflow Bubble can do, but obviously you've got access to doing all sorts of more advanced stuff uh, with, with uh, custom code in there. Uh, it can talk to other services uh, and APIs. So like in this example today, we're gonna use uh, OpenAI uh, chats, uh, chat endpoints to, to do uh, our request. So the worker is gonna handle all of that for us. Uh, it can have variables. Uh, so you can put things like API keys uh, into variables and encrypt them to keep them secure. Uh, we'll cover that again today. It's really easy to use. Uh, it does have a key value store as well. Um, we're not gonna cover that today, but we probably will in the future. But it's basically a free data store. Uh, so if you need to store records and, and have quick access to them at a massive scale, uh, this could be worth looking at. Uh, so it's, it's, it's got that built in. But really, it's just a great way to do very quick uh, jobs. I, I think it's particularly useful for doing AI tasks. Uh, and returning structured data to Bubble. So if you've watched any of my previous editions where we've tried to deal with uh, running requests to OpenAI and then parsing the JSON that we get back, it can be a bit of a, a faff in Bubble. Uh, so I think this is a really good alternative. Uh, it's really easy to set up and to use, and I use it in multiple of my own apps, and it's uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Of course, it also is going to help reduce on your workflow uh, utilization because all this uh, AI jobs are going to be happening in Cloudflare. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot more affordable. Um, just to give you a quick preview of what the actual editor is going to look like when we go into it, just at a very high level. The bit on the left there is where the actual code goes. Uh, so this is where we're going to put the code uh, that our worker is going to run. Uh, and on the right section there, you've basically got a little test panel. So this is where you can run test requests against the worker, see how they perform, see what the output is. And also you've got your kind of network tab there so you can see any errors and you've got the console errors and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, which again, is quite useful because if you do get an error, you, we're gonna just take that straight out and put it back into the AI uh, to update our, our, uh, our code and fix any errors. So really works well. The other great thing about workers is they're just insanely cheap. Uh, for uh, getting up and started. So you get uh, 100,000 requests free every day. 
uh, with 10 millisecond, milliseconds of CPU time per invocation. I personally don't really go over that, even with some of my more complex things that uh, little workers that I've built and then if you do want to get get a paid account it starts at five dollars a month and as you can see the pricing is extremely extremely competitive like I don't think there'd be a cheaper way of doing these kind of things uh, that I've come across so just at a very high level what we're going to do today uh, we're going to build a Cloudflare worker uh, that uh, that we're, we're going to connect to from bubble so we're going to connect to it through the API connector in bubble and we're going to send it uh, a post request, which is going to contain the text of uh, a resume. So we're just going to have all the text of a resume, send it into the Cloudflare worker. And then in the Cloudflare worker, we're going to call OpenAI, uh, give it that text, and ask OpenAI to return us a structured JSON of all, the uh, of all the data that's in that resume. So this is just to give you a bit of an example of the kind of stuff you can do. Obviously, we can get way more complex, but... Um, it, I think this is a good example. Uh, and then, so we're then going to return that structured JSON that we get back from OpenAI back to Bubble. So effectively in Bubble, we're going to make our request with our, our resume, and we're going to get back a really nicely formatted block of JSON uh, with all the data from that resume formatted in a nice way that we can then go on and use in Bubble. Uh, and the API connector is going to pick up all those fields and, and let us use them. So uh, with that said, let's dive into Cloudflare and get started. So uh, I've logged into my Cloudflare account and to go to workers, uh, we're going to go down here on the left and you'll see there's a whole section for workers. There's absolutely loads of stuff, uh, but we're going to go to the overview and we're just going to hit the create uh, a worker uh, button. Uh, and then we're just going to create a blank worker to get us started. I'm going to call our worker uh, resume AI extractor and I'm just going to hit deploy and that's basically just going to set us up uh, a blank worker with some kind of boilerplate code in it uh, that will let us just get started uh, with with kind of getting everything set up. So once we've got our worker here, you can see you've got the URL for it already. So this is the URL that we're going to use in the bubble API connector later. But let's just get started with actually putting the worker together. So I'm going to press the edit code button. Uh, and then we open up here with our worker in that, uh, in that mode that I showed you earlier. And we've just got our kind of boilerplate code here uh, that is set us off. So we can just delete that to get started. So we're going to generate our, uh, our code for this worker with uh, Claude. So we're going to use Anthropic's uh, Claude. Uh, you can also use ChatGPT. I found Claude works really well with this. So let's just head over into Claude. And I've re, uh, already written my prompt. So I'm going to take my prompt and put it in here. And uh, I'm just going to talk you through the prompt uh, in a bit of detail just to kind of explain uh, what, what I'm actually asking for here because I think it's quite useful to know uh, what the, the prompt is actually doing. So you can see here we're saying, uh, I want to create a Cloudflare worker which extracts key info from a resume and returns it as a structured JSON object. The, the Cloudflare worker variable for the OpenAI key is OpenAI key under, with big caps underscore. I'll show you where we're going to set that up later. Basically, that's what, that, what we're saying there is we want to make our API key a variable uh, that we're going to set in the Cloudflare dashboard. But it means that we're not just putting our API key into the code, <laughs> which we probably wouldn't want to do. We want to keep it a bit more secure uh, and encrypt it. So we're going to do it in Cloudflare. And that's just telling it what we want to call the variable. So we want to call it OpenAI API key. So, super simple. Um, I'm going to declare that I want to use the OpenAI, mo OpenAI model uh, GPT-4 O-mini. Um, Sometimes this will try and just use a random model because they're, they're not always aware of the latest things. So I just always declare what model I want to use, um, which just keeps it kind of simple. Uh, we want to use uh, OpenAI's JSON mode to return structured data. So we're, we're telling it, OK, I want you to make sure you set up the API call to OpenAI to use JSON mode just to make sure we're forcing it to return uh, JSON. And uh, I, 
I want to make a post request to the worker with an object containing the text from a resume. And then I've just made a simple example kind of JSON object. So this is what I want to send into the worker, a little uh, post request with this string here, which is going to be the actual resume. Super simple. Uh, and then the last thing here is, is I say, uh, I want the worker to return a standard structure of data from a resume. You should define the structure. So I'm just doing that to keep this easy. Um, but probably in your own use case, you may have a JSON structure that you've already got that you'd put in here and you say, I want this exact structure back. Uh, but I'm just going to let uh, Claude generate it. So I'm just going to hit go there. And we're going to uh, see what Claude does. So it's going to write all the code for our worker here. It's probably not going to be that long. Uh, and we can see we've got our worker code there. And it's also given us uh, an example post request uh, that we can do as well later. Um, and it's, it explains in detail what the work is actually doing here. Uh, so yeah, so now pretty much what we can do is we can take this code, copy it from here, go over to Cloudflare, paste in our code, and uh, that is all in there ready to go now. So. First of all, we're going to just see that this is just basically it's not going to work because first of all, we're we're not doing a proper request here yet, but also we haven't put our API key in yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit, hit deploy up here. Basically, that's just going to save where we are with this. And then I'm going to go back into Cloudflare, into the settings for this worker. So this is all the code that has just recently changed, which I think was changed the other day when I was doing my demo. Um, but all of this is different now. So uh, we want to add in a variable. So this is the variable that we described in that prompt earlier. So this is going to be our OpenAI API key. And I've got a quick test key that I'm going to use here. Put that in here. I'm going to delete that afterwards, obviously. And then if you want it to be encrypted, you can hit the encrypt button here and that will keep it secret uh, so it can't be seen. Uh, and then you just hit deploy down here and that will save that, that variable. So now when that worker runs and it looks for the OpenAI API key, uh, it's going to know, it's going to have it there and be able to, to use it. So I'm now going to head back in to edit the code. So we're going to go back into our worker, and now we're actually going to test it. So fingers crossed, this should actually just work uh, the first time. But obviously, uh, we just need a test resume to send into it. So I'm just going to ask Claude for this. This is it's the easiest way. Uh, can you give me a example resume post request to test with? Uh, and then uh, Claude's just going to generate a uh, an example resume for me here that I can use uh, to test it. But you might already have your own one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to grab that, head back into Cloudflare. And in our right pane here, we're going to say, OK, let's test this. We know we want to do a post request. So we're going to send a post into this. And we're going to paste in the body uh, that resume that we just did. So the second I paste that in, the worker is going to start running. Uh, and we should see in a second, uh, yeah, there we go. There's our uh, JSON. So uh, the worker's run. Uh, OpenAI has extracted all this data here. And you can see we've got a lovely structured JSON uh, with all of that uh, data. So uh, we've got it all in a nice format that we can, can then go and use. So next step is we want to go and set this up uh, in Bubble, which, again, going to be super, super simple. Uh, and let's uh, get started with that. So uh, to get this set up in Bubble, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to copy this uh, URL here. So this is the URL of our Cloudflare worker. And I'm going to head over into Bubble, into the API connector. And in here, I've just set up a, uh, a new API call for Cloudflare. And I'm just going to say, add another call. And in here, I'm going to say, uh, let's just call this our resume extractor. And it's going to be a post request. And I'm going to put in our Cloudflare URL there. 
And then I'm actually just going to go and copy that exact same call that we just did to Cloudflare here. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, just make sure you've deployed this, by the way, because obviously to call it externally, you need to make sure you've uh, you've deployed it. Uh, and then I'm going to head back into Bubble, post in our resume string here. And then uh, all I should need to do now is hit initialize call. And what that's going to do is run that Cloudflare worker, which in turn is going to run its OpenAI job, extract the data from our uh, resume, and there we go. We can see it's returned to us our lovely structured JSON. So we've got our name, summary, all the education, skills, all in a really, really perfect format for us to use in Bubble. Uh, so I'm going to hit save. And that's it. Uh, a very, very high level. Uh, that's how you can use Cloudflare workers to do stuff. Now, obviously, you could then go in and start doing uh, a lot more with this. Uh, you could you could update the prompt to start doing more analysis and things like that. And the other thing I would recommend is you add some security uh, onto your worker. Uh, so maybe by adding uh, like an API key that you need to run it. Uh, but we'll probably cover that in, in, in a future uh, edition just to make sure that you've got uh, some security on your worker and not just anyone can run it. But again, very easy. Don't need to write any code. You can do it all through uh, just with, with Claude going back and forth uh, and putting another variable in Cloudflare. The other thing to note is in Cloudflare, if you want, uh, you can also run this from your own domain. So uh, by default, it runs on this, this workers.dev domain. But if you want to, you can go in and hook up your own domain. So you could have this as resume.yourowndomain.com uh, and, and run it from that, which is the recommended way of doing it. Uh, and there is a ton more stuff in here uh, that we could dive into, and we probably will in future episodes. So if you found this useful, let me know, um, because I'd love to cover this more uh, in more detail, because obviously, I've used this for, for much more advanced things like connecting to databases, looping uh, AI requests, so uh, batching up multiple calls to open AI and doing analysis on all of them and that kind of thing. So this is just kind of an intro just to show you kind of the workers dashboard, how to put your code in there, how to run it, uh, and how to then set it up in Bubble. I think you know it's probably a lot easier than you may have thought at the beginning, hopefully. Um, but this is a really, really, really useful thing uh, to have in your tool belt. Uh, and it's, again, super cost effective. So I hope you found this episode uh, useful. Drop me uh, a reply with any questions or feedback or anything or anything else you'd like us to cover. We're going to cover lots more stuff like this uh, over the next few weeks, uh, particularly with doing AI stuff related to Bubble. So that's it for this week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.